Hi friends, this is your Blender by Dines. Today I am going to show you how to create a rigid body, a simple rigid body animation. So let's start. Here I need to keep this cube as a table bench. So I need to add another cube, shift D and drag along the axis and scale it down. And scale again scale along Z again this is so big it's fine and scale along Y and let's add uh, another copy of this one shift D and that axis scale along Z okay. uh, let's change this uh, thickness so here again and dimension 0 0.0 0 0.1 okay keep it here and scale along y along X this is for this is for our loop cut boolean cut so not loop cut boolean so select this uh, table and it go to the edit mode and add two loop cuts here one in minus 0 0.85 enter another 0 0.85 enter now we can extrude those faces so go to the face selection and click that face and here type E to extrude and uh, extrude somehow with this size ok now if you want to be well, just select these faces and control B and yeah, and change the boolean segments. okay yeah, it's fine so now let's cut let's uh, cut this uh, loop boolean so select this one and finally select the table so table should be yellow line not the red one so and go to the boolean edit Tool, tool different now okay now we have a hole so now next mm, we need to add uh, a pusher here so let's add uh, mm, let's add a pusher or yeah add a cylinder and grab the cylinder to yeah, here and change the zero point one zero point one ok 
Okay. Now rotate that one. Then rotate R into type 90 degrees. Okay. Scale it along. Scale along X. Go, go to the front view or no, right view and zoom grab it uh, here zoom It's okay. Now copy this uh, cylinder. This way, here and here. First move. We need uh, two copies here. So grab. Grab along y axis. Let's check the place. Grab y. Grab y. It's okay enough. Then shift D. Okay, leave it again. Shift D and move it. Wrong Y and check. So move it here. So grab Y here and zoom. Grab Y. This is enough. Now let's uh, loop cut. Let's uh, boolean cut. So click that one and another cylinder and finally this table and go to N and edit boolean. Okay. Now you see. Now let's add another. Cylinder here, another cylinder here. So we can edit this cylinder, edit and go for loop cut. Here, We are here. It's enough. And select those faces. Yes. Shift G. Yeah. After select these uh, faces, we need to change here. Extrude. Uh, extrude along the normals. And extrude this one. This size, let's check. Mm. I think it's enough, so it's good a little bit. Okay, this is enough. Okay, so leave this edit mode. Now let's make some animations to this uh, pusher. So click that one and in first uh, keyframe here change it to x z y x euler and from this position 
give a keyframe insert a keyframe so type pi and here also type pi and in 120 grab this here and along uh, y axis move here yes <clears throat> and then change the y yeah it's rotating change the y into whatever 800 or so 800 okay and give again i and i now we will just check rotating yeah yeah it's rotating and okay go so 140 mm, and <clears throat> in 140 we, we need uh, this pusher this uh to this uh starting point so left click and Click this uh, first uh, keyframe and copy that. And in 140, right click and paste. Okay. Now let's play. It's coming. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's change something. Change this one. 120 to 100 let's check think it's okay yeah it's perfect okay okay it's fine so now let's add some tennis tennis balls here so add them um, UV spear and grab it there along these at axis and scale it down okay this size is okay and let me apply some materials so yeah add a new material and click this yellow button and uh, image texture click that image texture now open here we need to uh, select a suitable image and I have already downloaded there so let's add this one and check that in this render view no material view it's fine if you want you can give some materials for this so let me give this one material this color change it to um, okay and uh, let's make metallic blue and For this also change some um, roughness metallic and roughness it's okay now let's right click and uh, shade smooth okay, now it's perfect mm, let's reduce now some increase some roughness for this one it's okay now it's time to give some modifications so let's give some modification to this uh, ball click the, uh, that ball in object mode and go to physics properties and click this uh, rigid body click that one 
and this ball should uh, be should dynamic so change it's also dynamic change some weight reduce it uh, 0 0.2 it's okay and uh, change this shape into sphere and fix an attribute and bounce in us so let's play yeah the ball is passing through this uh, table so let's give some modification to this table so click the table and go to the physics properties and uh, click this uh, rigid body then uh, uh, this uh, table should be passive not uh, movable so click that one and uh, not animated and change this table into uh, mesh so okay bounciness give some bounciness fix and now let's play yeah it's bouncing uh, now let's uh, give some modification to this uh, pusher or roller so click that uh, roller and again physics properties and give the rigid body and this rigid body is, uh, the, this uh, roller is moving because we gave uh, the animation settings but it's uh, passive so change it into passive and the rigid body is animated so tick that one that uh, roller is animated and change the shape into mesh and fix and bounciness let's play and check yeah it's fine it's fine it's perfect now increase let's increase some bounciness Okay, now let's uh, increase the speed. So, okay, first frame and click this roller and change this. Click this 100 uh, and select this 100 and uh, this one. So, not the, don't select this first. Select 100 and 140 and move this one. So we are here 80 and change this 114 to 120. Let's play. Yes. perfect now let's add uh, some extra balls extra tennis balls so before that click this ball and when we copy the all the we don't need to give uh, we know we don't need to give uh, all this uh, rigid body settings to all this all those balls so change the world settings so click that uh, tennis ball and go to this uh, world properties and Click this surface here. Uh, zoom diffuse BSDF. Click that one. Now okay. <coughs> now let's uh, copy. So control shift uh, D and move somewhere here. Shift D move here. Shift D again like that. Shift D move. D, D, D. Okay, now let's play. Yes. That's fine. 
Let's move these things. Let's try to use some bounciness of some balls. That's all guys and now wait, let's add uh, environment uh, means HDR image so go to this uh, shading shading property uh, and uh, go change this one into world diffuse and add shader background and click this background into surface with and add another background shader and background again and uh, again add go to shader and uh, mix shader and click here it's okay and this background and change this uh, before that let's go this here and change this color into dark it's okay yeah and now I add a texture environmental texture and tick here and join this color to background color yeah and wait uh, and then add vector vector mapping here and add again mm, texture coordinates mm. yeah texture coordinate now click this vector into in environmental texture vector and then uh, texture coordinate generator to mapping vector vector mapping now add uh, hdr image so let's download an hdr image so go to this browser whatever you want and type this website hdr heaven holy heaven this is a website i will add attach the website name in the comment box uh, description so don't worry and go to home and gallery mm. this is image so go to home hdris browse hdris let's download uh, Yeah, let's download this one or this one okay and change here hdr or X, exr we need X, hdr so download it's downloading Okay, let's close 
and open this one and here we are server which we are yes and open now see the background is changed it's okay we need to rotate here this uh, mapping we can rotate wherever we want let's rotate Um, this is okay. Only if you want to rotate, why? Scale if you want, change the scale. Mm, that's all. And so let's go to this uh, layout and go to. Here we have changed the scale now. So, this is this is the matching point so move somewhere here yeah now let's play Um, yeah, that's all guys uh, so if you want to make some camera animations just move this camera around here like that so, camera view 0 and change this camera position here uh, Okay, from the first, let's uh, <coughs> uh, insert creep frame for this camera. I and type I and then <coughs> last one 120 and 1660 and rotate this camera and here and and type i i now let's play yes 
again in 120 let's rotate again okay guys like that you can make your own animations so this is the basic thing about uh, rigid body and settings so try this uh, give the for this table give a, a mesh shape if you give other shapes it will not if you give a convex hull the uh, balls will not touch this uh, table so don't forget to give mesh so that's all guys thank you for watching please subscribe and share thank you for watching